We are here with the famous Vicky. You would have seen her from some of my videos. She is the uh, first client I had to try out the Glute program. So why don't you tell us about uh, where you were at beforehand and your journey uh, through and after the program. I started my fitness journey in November. Right, you were, yeah. you were, you were trying out the treadmill version to like get, get fit, right? Yeah. Yeah. And when it went completely the opposite of what I actually wanted, I was like, wow. So once the treadmill didn't work out, because of course, cardio for my body type definitely did not go together. I felt like I was just so skinny. Like I didn't have like, I didn't have anything to me before, but after that I was like, oh no, <laughs> this isn't good, this isn't good. So then I started weightlifting in February. So my legs were outgoing my glutes by a lot. And it definitely wasn't what I wanted and I was like stumped. I didn't really know. I was doing legs like twice a week and I would do like 10 exercises. It's true. I was like, what the f is happening? Like, how could I not be doing enough? Because that's what you thought you had to do. That's what I thought. More is better. I was like, more is better. Less is better. Less is better. So I went from doing 10 exercises each day to doing like four. And right. I got way better results. <laughs> yes, yes. People come in with that bodybuilder mentality thinking they need to do like 15 exercises for their arm day and chest day or whatever. But yeah, less is more because you can recover from it and do the same thing three times a week instead of hitting like, you know, one or two leg days a week. And then if you vary the intensity, like do your heavy day Monday, come in and you can do a light day, just blast your glutes with lighter weights and then come in do medium day and really get sore for the weekend and by Monday, you're, you're back ready to do uh, your heavy stuff again Monday. And that's when I came across your program. So my program was in the infancy uh, stages then. Now I had someone to test it on. Yeah, like we did the nutrition plan. I was exactly on point with that. I was on point with my exercises and working out. And I was very surprised at the results I got <laughs> since it had been a year and I had saw really like really slow progress. Like I was like measuring centimeters, like how slow and then like halfway through my bulk, I put two pictures together and it was crazy. Thicker than a snicker. <laughs> <laughs> we also went to the gym a few times to, uh, to check out your form and stuff. So my hamstring hurt for about a year. So I really couldn't do anything like squat related, lunge related, RDL, anything stretching, kind of like really, I couldn't like progress in anything except for hip thrust. And then we discovered that's because I was leaning way too far forward in my squat. So it was literally hurting my hamstrings, like chest on quads, like yeah, that's how yeah. far, I was really far. Yeah, I would say I'm more confident in the gym, I would say, yeah. But I'm lifting way more than I ever was before. Like I was lifting like what, 10 pounds on each side and then I was all of a sudden up to a plate, squatting a plate. Yeah, you were, you were Almost 300 on hip thrust, like. That's the thing though, the strength is a, a big feature that a lot of people doing their glutes especially don't really mm. realize is part of it, is you need to get stronger with those big numbers up there in the lower rep range. And that helped a lot. So yeah, less is more. Vicky is the proof. Do what she does, do the program. All right, thanks Vicky.